Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys who are new, welcome. My name is Tiffany and I'm really excited that you guys have joined us. And for those of you guys who are returning, thanks for coming back and supporting me and really helping me build up my channel. So today's video is just going to be a few first impressions from the drugstore. Nothing too extreme. A couple things that I just was wandering through Ulta today and just decided to pick up and I thought I'd get on film and try them out for you guys. I really wanted to try out the new foundation from LA Girl and they didn't have my shade, of course, so I didn't get to do that, but I'm going to get online and order that and that's going to be in a video coming up. So stay tuned for that, it's the matte one and I'm really excited to try that because I've seen a lot of really great reviews from it. Just for now, I have a few products that I just picked up that I'm really excited to try out. So if you guys are interested in seeing the products that I picked up from Ulta and watching me test them out and they're all very affordable, then why don't we go ahead and get started. She just wants some loving, I know, mm, I know. Do you want to be on the camera mm -hmm. she is just so lovey I just got home from work and she just when I get home she won't like she just wants me to love her all the time so I know Ella I know but I have a very exciting night ahead of me I'm going to try on bridal gowns today and so this is what I'm kind of do just getting ready are you gonna let me film hmm? mm -hmm. are you gonna let me film <laughs> hey why don't you go lay down okay it's just so needy sometimes like not needy but like she just wants it wants attention all the time here she comes again mm-hmm this is my life with her and I wouldn't have it any other way but what I'm trying to film and Cody's not home and I don't want to like just leave her all by herself so I let her in the room with me but let's put you downstairs huh I mean, how can I? She's so freaking cute. So the first thing that I went to pick up from Ulta is this sponge. It's from Real Techniques, and Casey Holmes had talked so much about this sponge, and it's ginormous, so I don't know how it's going to be applying foundation with it. I'm, I'm constantly looking for new beauty sponges because although I do like... I do like the Beauty Blender, but to me, spending $20 on a sponge, there's definitely more affordable options out there that work just as well. So that's why I don't use Beauty Blender because I like to try out other ones. This is called the Real Techniques Body Sponge Contour Tan and or Bronze, and she uses it for her foundation as well. So I'm going, this is dry, so I'm excited to see how, like what it's gonna be like when it's wet. I did try the normal size Real Techniques sponge and it wasn't my favorite, but we'll see. We'll see how this applies foundation and everything like that. But then I did go ahead and pick up another real technique, another um, eco tool sponge because, uh, like I said, it's my favorite. So, and Ella chewed my last one. Next, I picked up. Um, let's see, I did pick up two brow products from NYX. I picked I picked up the tinted brow mascara and the micro brow pencil, both in the shade brunette. So it says smudge resistant, blendable, precise. So yeah, I'm excited about both of these. I'm always looking for new drugstore brow products. What else? Oh, so this I grabbed the other day when I was at Walmart, I think, this Milani Make It Last. I've never used this before, but I'm in desperate need of a new setting spray because my Max Flix Plus is like out. So I did go ahead and I wanna try this out to see if I like it or not. Um, it says 16 hour wear, I'm correct and set is what it says. So it's called Make It Last. So yeah, I'm excited about this. What else? I did pick up today this Wet n Wild Color Icon um, Hooked on Vinyl. It's really cute. It's super tiny and it does say like brow bone crease eyelid transition and I don't know how much I'll listen to that but this is really cute and there's those there's the bigger ones but this is more um compact and it was like let me see this was $2.99 and like for especially for beginners I think that this is really awesome because it tells you where she I know Mwah. you just want to be loved this kind of gives you a complete eye look so we'll see I'm gonna excited to try that out and I think that that's it let's jump in I'm going to go wet my sponge and we're gonna start with the face so let's jump on in I did go ahead and wet the sponge this is huge I don't know how it's gonna work, but it's humongous. And I did also, let me just add, I did go up and pick up another one of these because I am out of this one. So that's exciting. That was in my project pan, so I knew I was gonna finish it soon. So I did go ahead and pick up another one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump on in and I'm just going to prime my face with the one heck of a blot instant perfecting power primer. And then we will just, my I am already moisturized. And then we will just get to applying the foundation. I will 
do the foundation first. There, my face is like super red today. I don't know what's going on with it. I have just been having super sensitive skin lately. It's crazy. I don't usually have this issue. I'm not usually too sensitive, but just recently I just feel like it's just been insane. And I do want to fill in my pores and I'm going to do that with my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. One of my favorites, you guys know. Oh, she's not gonna let me film today. Are you not gonna let me film, hmm? So I am gonna go in and use my Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. This has been my favorite lately. You guys know if you watch that I have just been absolutely loving this. And I'm just going to pump some on my hand. I'm then going to take this ginormous sponge and I'm just going to so she said that the reason she likes this so much is because it puts her foundation on in no time and I definitely can see why because it is humongous. Today I'm going and trying on bridal gowns and I'm really excited about it. I don't like I honestly like I have an idea of what I want but it's very overwhelming like you can plan and plan and plan. She's right, this does, obviously it's huge, so it is going to put my foundation on super fast, but like, this is fast. This is crazy. I'm going to spot conceal really quickly this blemish that I have right here. And I'm just using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer, which I don't usually use. I'm just going to build the foundation up a little bit just a little this definitely oxidizes a little this foundation you can tell like this is just freshly and then this obviously has been sitting on my skin for a second it oxidizes fairly quickly I know that this foundation is the one that um, I did pick up the 130 buff beige because that's normally what I am and then I did have to go out and repurchase my no, my color. Then I am going to take my Catrice and I actually do like that sponge um, a lot. It, went, it put my foundation on super nicely. So I'm just going to put my Catrice concealer which I have been loving, loving, loving lately. He blended that out really quickly as well. I was worried about getting into my inner corner, but wow, I am highly impressed with this. I honestly did not anticipate whenever she used it, I was like, that is so huge. How does she even get like precise? But my face just went on like so quickly. Honestly, I am really impressed. And then I'm just going to take my, I think we'll use Born This Way or Fit Me. I think we're gonna use the Fit Me powder today. I'm going to dip that sponge right in and I'm just going to set this. I'm just going to bake under my eyes. I got the shade Hooked on Vinyl in this eyeshadow palette and I'm excited to dig in. This is what it looks like. I love the colors and I think it's nice for beginners um, to have the uh, like the directions on where to put it on, where to place it on the eye. So I do enjoy that. I'm gonna go into this first shade right here that says transition on it. And just fluff this into my transition area. Wet n Wild has some pretty good shadows out. So what I do want to do is I'm going to take my bronzer that I'm going to use today and that's just the bronze booster and I am going to just deepen up that crease a little. I'm going to take a little bit more of a precise brush. I don't know how this color is going to go. This color right here, it says to use the, so this color right here is for the crease. And that's what it says, so I'm going to just take this, and there is a picture on the back, so it kind of gives you a little bit, it's just not how I normally do it, so let's just see. Oh, this color is a little... It's kind of just transferring to be a little, like, it's not transferring to that blue that you see in the pan. Go 
ahead and go back into that initial shade and just blend out those edges and see what we can do. So these are blending pretty nicely, even with that dark color. dig into this make it last spray and set and just wet my brush and I'm just gonna go into this eyelid shade it's like a golden then I'm just going to wipe all of this bake away I reach in and grab this um, NYX eyebrow pencil and it has a nice spoolie on and then also let's see what it looks like like this I don't know if you guys can see so let's go ahead and try and do something with these brows brows are probably the one thing that I really struggle with a lot like it's not not like a expertise of mine by any means. This color might be just a little light. I maybe should have went, this is brunette, I maybe should have went with espresso. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of this from um, Maybelline, Total Temptations, just so that I can get a little bit I feel like that was really easy to work with though, so definitely I'm going to check out and get my, my correct color and then we'll see how it works. And then I also did pick up the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara and I saw this from Casey Holmes as well. So let's see. And I got the shade Brunette, which might be a little light, but we'll see. Actually, this is kind of nice. It gives my brows a little bit of a highlight, which I do like. I'm a fan of this, and this color for me is nice. I think that the pencil is just a little bit too red, but the brow gel I'm a fan of because I don't like a super intense brow. Let's go ahead and dig back into this palette right here. And they do have a shade that they recommend using for the brow and inner corner. It's the shade right here. And I like more of a, yeah, that's just not going to work for me. So I'm going to reach into the Jaclyn Hill palette and grab that Enlightened shade, that first shade that I always use. And that's what I'm going to highlight my brows with and my inner corner. Then I'm taking my Morphe M432. And I'm going to take the shade, the dark blueish green shade in the palette. And I'm going to just throw this along my lower lash line. I'm going to grab this transition shade. And I'm just going to run that along and blend that out. I'm going to take a little bit of that green shade on this as well. So I am going to go off camera and finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be back. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like so far. I really like that eyeshadow palette. I have to be honest. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish it with this setting spray. Now I'm just going to take this and pounce it over. I'm honestly super surprised that I do, but it put on my foundation so nicely and it blended out my concealer so quickly and it just looks really nice. I'm so surprised. I'm a huge fan of the Real Techniques um, normal sponge, but this is just a little different. This setting spray, I'm a huge fan of. I think it smells really nice. The Mr. Really nice. I'll see how it makes my makeup wear to really put it to the test. See if I actually really love it like I think I'm going to. What else? The brow products, I think were really good. Um, the brunette shade is a little too red for me, so I'll have to see how it, um, once I get a different shade, once I go the shade darker, what it will look like. And the 
brow gel really big fan of it gave my brows a nice highlight and then we have the eyeshadow palette I did enjoy that eyeshadow palette a whole lot the only thing I do wish about it um, I did have to work with it a little bit um, to get it to blend out but I do wish that there was a more highlighty shade in it for the inner corners and the brow bone because I had to reach into the Jaclyn Hill palette so yeah I think that's all um really pleasantly surprised with all these products I don't really have many complaints about them except for the eyeshadow palette I wish it did include that highlighting shade but besides that I think everything worked really really well thank you guys so much for watching this video um, I'm sorry about our guest today that she just wouldn't leave me alone but how can I just push her away because she's so freaking cute um, but yeah don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave if you'd like and I'll see you guys in my next video bye